As the ground shakes and debris falls, the news presenter stays incredibly composed. Outside, the moment the capital Taipei starts to rumble. It's rush hour and commuters are suddenly caught up in a terrifying journey. High in the sky, a rooftop swimming pool overflows. The force took many by surprise. Feeling was uh, like being grabbed by someone by the shoulders and shook violently. It was incredibly unsettling. And I felt my eyes pop out of my skull when I, I checked the news and realized this wasn't actually in Taipei where I was and was in Hualien, which is uh, very far from, from where we are. Others were trapped in vehicles in Daqing Shui Tunnel close to the epicenter. They had to be rescued. The focus shifting to 50 employees of Taroko Silk's hotel who were stranded on minibuses. It's been described as the strongest earthquake to hit Taiwan in a quarter of a century, leaving this block of flats nearly tipped on its side and tens of thousands of people without power. For residents in the small city of Hualien, it was a moment to stop, pause, and observe the damage from a distance. Up close, the building leaning precariously over a street. People's homes partially collapsed. This building's ground floor completely flattened. Those inside were quickly evacuated. Thankfully here though, only minor damage. As the earthquake began to hit in the early morning, its effects were quickly visible, with vehicles rocking from side to side, rattling the furniture in people's homes. But there was little sign of panic in a part of the world whose people and buildings are remarkably equipped for tremors. Those buildings that you're seeing that collapsed or are off kilter, for the most part, at the exception, in Taipei, my building has been swaying for the last couple of hours. There's still aftershocks. The last one was just a few minutes ago. But Taiwan has really earthquake-proofed itself since that disastrous 1999 quake. Schools calmly took their students to safety outside. The serenity of some picturesque parts briefly disturbed. Bits of Turtle Island broken. And the earthquake did unleash huge landslides. But tsunami warnings in Japan and the Philippines were lifted. The threat of a far more serious disaster, thankfully, removed.